Hi, and welcome to Brick Maths. In today's video, we're going to be looking at fractions as division and calculating decimal equivalents. We'll look at three different examples and then you can have a go at the fourth. Here is a fraction, three tenths. Fractions show us how many parts we have of the whole. For example, there are three out of ten parts that are shaded purple. But fractions are also divisions, so this fraction is the same as 3 divided by 10. What are these fractions as division number sentences? Pause the video to give you time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. So 5 to 6 is 5 divided by 6. 3 eighths is 3 divided by 8. 5 eighths is 5 divided by 8. Now we need to calculate the decimal equivalent by finding the answer. We can use short division to work out the answer. So 3 is the number being divided, we call this the dividend. And 10 is the number that we are dividing it by, we call this the divisor. Because we are dividing a smaller number by a larger number, we need to use a decimal point and some zeros as placeholders. So how many tens go into three? Zero with three left over. Make sure you line up the decimal points in the same place. So now we need to work out how many tens go into 30. 10 goes into 30 three times with no remainders. As there's no remainder, we don't need to calculate any more. So 3 tenths is equal to 0 0.3. So let's take a look at the next example. 5 6, which is 5 divided by 6. As 5 is the number being divided, 5 is the dividend. And we're dividing the number by 6, so 6 is the divisor. Don't forget we need a decimal point and some zeros as placeholders. So first, how many 6s go into 5? zero with five left over. Make sure you line the decimal point up in the same place. So now how many sixes go into 50? Six times eight is 48. So six goes into 50 eight times with two left over. How many times does six go into 20? Six times three is 18. So six goes into 20 three times with two left over. As the next part of the calculation is the same as the previous part, we know it will be a recurring decimal. This means that the last digit will go on indefinitely. As it's a recurring number, the number 3 will go on forever. So unless you want to be writing 3s for the rest of your life, you can use a symbol to show that it's a recurring number. So 5 sixths is equal to 0 0.83 recurring. Let's have a look at the next one. 3 eighths which is 3 divided by 8. 3 is the number being divided, so 3 is the dividend. As we're dividing the number by 8, 8 is the divisor. Don't forget we need a decimal point and some zeros as placeholders. So how many 8s go into 3? 0 with 3 left over. Make sure the decimal point is lined up in the same place. So now how many 8s go into 30? 8 times 3 is 24. So 8 goes into 30 3 times with 6 left over. How many times does 8 go into 60? 8 times 7 is 56. So 8 goes into 60 7 times with 4 left over. So how many times will 8 go into 40? 8 times 5 is 40. So 8 goes into 40 5 times with no remainders. So 3 eighths is equal to 0 0.375. Dividing fractions challenge 1. Let's see if you can have a go at the last one. 5 eighths, which is 5 divided by 8. Pause the video to give you time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. Let's see if you got it right. So the number being divided is 5, so 5 is the dividend. And we're dividing the number by 8, so 8 is the divisor. 
so now we need our decimal points and some zeros as placeholders. So 8 doesn't go into 5, so we have 0 with 5 left over. Make sure the decimal point is lined up in the same place. 8 times 6 is 48, so 8 goes into 50 6 times with 2 left over. 8 times 2 is 16, so 8 goes into 20 2 times with 4 left over. And 8 goes into 40 5 times with no remainders. So 5 eighths is equal to 0 0.625. Click the link in the description to find my test shop to get downloadable and printable resources that I have created. So that's it for fractions as division. If you want to keep learning, keep an eye out for more videos by Brick Maths.